Welcome everybody. This is the podcast series of The Imperative Magazine and my name is Tidua Rapila. And as, as you know, the beautiful thing, or according to me, what I love about this podcast is that we really stay your, your soul, right? We really go to your core um, as a human being um, or a spiritual being having a human journey. We really go to um, that side of you where people have find themselves in the darkest corner of the world and they've managed to take themselves out of that. And what does that look like? And I think today we've got someone who can really share a um, beautiful teaching tool as someone who've been there, uh, right? It's not even a movie. It's It might sound like a movie, but it's not even a movie. And his name is Patrick Serue. Am I pronouncing it correctly, Patrick? Yeah. Okay, Patrick, welcome to the Imperative Podcast or the Imperative Mac po- Podcast. As I said, my name is T.D. and I'm really here as your student to learn because some of us sit in one conversation in the boardroom. We're having it hard and we're thinking, oh my God, life is ending. But you've been there, right, Way, um, and I think your story is really groundbreaking for me. And um, before in, going into that, you are an artist, right, based yeah. in South Africa, yes. and you your work focuses on women empowerment, right, but showcasing the pain that women go through in the society. I know in one of the conversations you were saying that um, there's this beautiful picture that you have, and you're saying the mother and the, the daughter are looking scared because the daughter could be taken away into a forced marriage at some point, you know. And I just love how you capture your life and you capture your journeys in the in the art or through art. Um, so welcome. That's a long introduction. Welcome, yeah. Patrick. Oh, thank you so much, Tizzy. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, thank you for yeah, calling me mm-hmm. to come and have a word or share. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. So who is Patrick? Uh, Patrick, uh, my full name is Patrick Seru, mm-hmm. and uh, originally I'm mm-hmm. born from Uganda. Okay. So I came here in South Africa some years back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I came here, I came as you know, African people. Yeah. We, we try to like uh, get something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, life wasn't easy for yes. me. Mm. And uh, back home, mm. I could not complete my studies. Okay. So, yeah, I went through the field. So, I'd, mm. then from there, I had the communication with a friend of mine yeah. who was already here. Mm-hmm. So, I had to come and, yeah, try to. Yeah, uh, get something. But at that <laughs> point, Patrick, which is very interesting, right? Yeah. When you left home, mm. what were you coming here for? Like, wh- what was that thing in your mind where you said, okay, I'm leaving, mm. I'm going to South Africa, this is what I'm going to do? Uh, you know, I don't want to lie to you. Mm. You know, we used to talk, like, mm. uh, when mm. I was still young. Yes, the way how yes. I grew up, mm. I was raised up with a single mom. Yes. Back home with my three sisters. Mm. So life was not easy. Yes, By yes. that time, and I could not, like, complete, as I've said, my yes. studies. Mm. So I had a group, like a friend of mine, who yeah. we used to say, planning for the future, yes. what you're going to do, what, what, what. Then I came. So I didn't have uh, something in mind that oh, uh, I'm yeah. going to do this, I'm going to do this, but I I had like a, I knew how to plait uh, women's hair. Oh yes, yes. So I that's what I that. yeah, yes, that's yeah. what I had in mind. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But I could not say I'm going to like uh, go with it yes, in the future. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, but yeah. uh, because I used to help my mother mm-hmm. uh, to plait women's hair in the her saloon, so uh, yeah, I, I, that's what I knew. Yes. And uh, the moment when I was here, uh, the streets of Johannesburg. Mm. Uh, I don't know how I can say it, but it's a long story. Yeah, you know, share a so, bit. Uh, that's the, the streets of Joburg, the the ones that you know. Share, please tell us a bit about that journey of this when you when you welcome when you get to the big buildings with the lights and you are now in Joburg. <laughs> exactly, yeah. you know. And uh, by that time, I could know I, I didn't know anyone. Yes, by yes. then uh, here mm. because even the person like. Uh, I came knowing mm. uh, when we I reached here, I tried to call the numbers, we were mm. off. So Wow, Wait, did you not cry? Yes. <laughs> You when see, you call the numbers and they, they're dead, so right? So it's like I was stranded on the yes, streets of yeah. Johannesburg there. Mm. So, and from there, uh, there's a, a person whom mm. I spoke to. Mm. It was like becoming late. And mm. what I had... So you're speaking to a stranger? Yes. Yeah. I had a small bag of mine. Yeah. Also, it was uh, someone grabbed it from me. 
someone grabbed the bag hey, so while you were asking for direction. <laughs> so, Yo. so I left with uh, nothing, and yes. I was there like uh, if you know Park Station, Johannes. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Park uh, Station, it's yeah. called Wanderlust. So I was around that place, and mm. uh, I could see too much people yes. speaking the language I don't know. Mm. You see, and I'm trying to ask someone from Uganda, mm. and I mm. could not get any person mm. by that time. So good enough, there is someone who told me, no, uh, I think you can get help uh, around here mm. because I had nowhere to sleep, I had nothing. So that person took me to a place where, but then we were paying uh, like five rand a night. Did you have money on you? <laughs> no, he paid for me. Yo, and this person you don't know. Yes. Are you still in touch with that person now? No. You, you, you don't know where the person went to? I don't know. So you never qu- kept in touch with that person? Uh, yes. You know, by yeah. that time, I had yeah. no phone. Yes, I understand. You yeah, see, yeah. Uh, it was difficult like, to mm. keep contact, you mm, know. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. So uh, I slept there. Uh, yeah. In that, uh, it was like a, a hostel. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, but now I can recall that place. It's yes. on uh, Bree, if you know town. Yes, Bree yes, and yeah. Lavde. Have you been there recently? Uh, I did pass uh, there because okay. basically I'm in Johannesburg, so yes. always I pass there. Yeah, yeah, but I never got to sleep there. But I slept there like a, a week, mm. something like that. Mm. Yeah, before mm. I find uh, like a place okay. where to stay, so yeah. I could pay five and five rand. Five rand, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so how day. did you sustain yourself? You said you were doing the um, you were braiding hair or plaiting hair. You know what? What? What would be your day like? Like, pay, paint me a day. What you, you wake up in this place that's like a hostel, and then you go out into this place where you don't know people. What? Are, what, what language they're talking? Exactly. Right. And and ha- paint. Give me that picture. So I wake up in the morning. Mm. Then I have to go to park station. There's mm. a place there, park station. Mm. It's where you can take a shower. Mm. Oh, uh, okay, know, yes. They are uh, public uh, toilets. Yes, yes. You could okay. go and wash, but mm. uh, you could take some time without even bathing, you know. Mm. So, and uh, nowhere to sit, nowhere. Mm. Be, you can be allowed to sit, but you cannot even doze, you know. Mm. You know nowhere to go. So I had to hustle as a man mm. Mm. Uh, and uh, move around. So it's where uh, on Plain Street, it's where uh, I got a lady. Mm. And uh, yeah, that lady. She will come to me. I mm. spoke to her, mm. and uh, I said, "Yeah, I'm from Uganda. Mm. I know how to do the hair. Those mm. people they were like uh, doing hair oh, on the streets. Yes, okay, yeah. The one they with, they'll have a placard like, yes. okay, yeah. So yeah. that's what I had in mind, mm. you know. So, but uh, to me, I could not like uh, want that kind of job, you know. Mm, but mm. Uh, it, it was nothing to do by that time. Yeah, so yeah, what yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to help that. But before I do that, mm. the first thing which I did is, you, I don't know if you have seen the guys pushing trolleys. Which ones? The uh, one pushing the trolleys? Uh, that's for... helping people. Like, oh, yes, with the, with the luggage. Yes, 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 with the luggage. Yes, I've seen. Yeah. That, that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I did yeah. the first. Yes. Uh, like uh, the first job, which I did. And I did it like uh, two weeks. Oh, And I had to quit. Yeah. It was not easy. Yeah. Like for me to do it. Mm. Uh, first of all, I did not know the language. Oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And you are pushing, mm. you see these text guys, others, they could ask you where did you get the trolley mm. they take the trolley because those trolleys they were getting from like pick and pay or mm. shop light they bring you buy it mm. like 20 rand then they come they collect it so and when you like helping someone and there's a taxi guy or someone they can even take it mm. you you can't explain you know something like that so mm. it was difficult mm. and i said you know uh, let me go and uh, like help so the hair was the better okay yeah wow and at that point um patrick did you ever feel like gosh i'm going back like south africa the promised land or whatever it is that 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 i was going that i thought i was going to get is not here so let me go home did you have those thoughts I had that thought mm. at first because life was not easy. Mm, mm. At first, like uh, to take some days, month mm, without mm. communicating. Mm, I spend mm. like a one year without communicating with people home. Mm, you know, mm, mm. even here. But did no they friends. know that you were okay? Did, did, did you send them a letter to say, Mommy, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. No. So throughout the year, nobody knew that you were breathing or not. Oh, yes. Really? Yes. What? <laughs> So yeah. it was not easy. Yes, it of was not I, easy. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, that led help me mm, uh, mm. to like 
stand there mm. try to help her mm. it was like a plight mm. i could not like uh, convince people to call people on the street come mm. hello sis i wanna help you with the hair what what you know mm. yeah, you need to persuade such yes, people yes 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 so yes. but because if you don't know the language yes. it becomes a problem yes 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 so i had like to help have you picked up any languages now Uh, I can speak a little bit Zulu. Okay. And uh, suit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's the language. So mm. then I try to help that mm. lady and uh, yeah, to help her like uh, when I plot, she mm. brings someone, oh. then I plot, mm. then we can share or she oh, can you give share. something. Okay. All yeah. right. So that's where uh, Okay. Yeah. And then you get to the point where you've got business, now you are working. and then you you reconnect with your friend who's an artist uh before that mm, mm. before oh, i was doing that mm, mm. and that uh i got a girlfriend mm. uh she's got seed mm. <laughs> she's know. what Called Tid. Her name is Tid. Yes. Ah, for my name's sake. <laughs> Hello, Tid. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, so she like uh, we talked. What? Like she helped me also, mm, like mm. here and there. So yeah, it, it was so good, super. Mm, you mm. know. So, oh, she's the one you made a, a sketch. You you sketched her. Yes. Oh, was it but, the love? Like, what? what but, where but, did that idea come from? Uh, you know, the idea came from where in that process. Yeah. Like, after some years. Yes. I do de- like developed mm. got a salon, mm. and we are working with her there. Oh yes, yes, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So I was like a renting there, mm. so she could also help me a bit. Mm, mm. Then. And you know she didn't know about her. I tried like to teach her also, mm, but that mm. and she was okay with mm, it. Mm. So we used to be in that life. Okay. So um, meeting again a mm. friend of mine mm. who I started with in Uganda. Ah. His name was called Benoni Rutai. Yes. So he was an artist. Mm. He came here professionally mm. in a residence by Back Factory. Mm. So he was here like a. a month something mm. like that mm. then yeah we communicated said mm. he's here mm. then i mm. said okay then we met and we talked so about that time i was like becoming a little bit better yes. with my girlfriend mm. and uh, yeah i had a car mm. about a skorokoro car yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know yeah. then uh my friend i could come and i could like drive him yes. around oh that's you know? when you took we were taking him to the to the gallery yes. oh yes by yeah, that time. yeah yeah so i ca- by that time because me i was like used to the place mm, mm. so it was easy for me ah, to like yeah, uh, to drive move him around, yeah, around. Yes, yeah, and yeah. by the way for him he was here for three months oh yes the okay. residence was for three months yeah. after three months he had to go back mm, mm. but uh, yes he also he had his uh, own and said no i can like uh, sustain myself i can push because mm. he found out that like uh, at the community art you know uh, it's much better than uganda you mm. know so he, after th- three months then he had also to rent mm. because mm. by that time he was staying uh, there for free yes they could up, uh, provide him accommodation and yeah. uh, uh, food what each and everything yeah yeah so yeah so i had to help him move around by that mm. time so we came to my friend mm. and the close friends mm. by that time mm. so it's where i started like moving mm. with him late in the evening when i'm done working then i can join him or if he has like he is going somewhere i can go with him mm. like exhibition is so i used to go to his studio mm. i used to go to with in the art fairs the galleries something like that mm. Mm. so mm. uh from there it's where like uh, i started to get inspired mm. you mm. know mm. that mm. you know I, i can do this mm. i can do this mm. you know mm. and i remember i used to, there's a place where we went to visit him mm. is this white guy is called him and mm. uh, yeah we were only two people black people mm. Mm. and we could talk they were asking me what are you doing you know mm. for him they knew about him and i said uh, i'm mm. artist mm. he told me never talk like that 
because they'll ask you things about art. You don't, oh, you don't know. so how but do you introduce yourself? I introduce myself as an artist. But are you? So why did he say not, not? Don't call yourself an artist. Because I was not by then. Oh. So he was saying they will ask you what are you doing? Mm. Would you show as your art or oh. what? Then you don't have. Mm. But for me, I had started to believe mm. myself oh, okay. that you know yes, I, I can am, be yeah. an artist. I yeah. can be an artist. So that's where also when I could go to art fairs in the galleries, what or yes. his studio mm. to see other artists, then I could see yeah. myself as one okay. of them. It was one of them. Yeah. Yes. It's, so there's importantly for me you know, what I what I want to understand. So you you you. Your art, your work is, and, and we'll talk about so your, your work, right? And, and your journey is beautiful, how you got there. Mm. But what I want to understand, right, your your journey as an artist is quite, is quite deep, right? Mm. You talk about a, a very fundamental social issue, which is cutting across all social layers, irrespective of where you are. It doesn't matter what country, what community you come from. Women abuse is real right women are being killed every day by people that they know um live with um daily and some people that they don't know do you have a view i don't know if you do do you have a view of why women specifically are targeted like that coming from in your view and come in your experiences and and what what could that be about uh to me or like on my view about mm-hmm. that uh, first of all uh while in the salon Mm-hmm. While doing the hair, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I used to share a lot of stories mm-hmm. with women. Mm-hmm. And uh, leave that aside. Mm-hmm. For example, like Johannesburg, where I'm based, is a city which attracts people mm-hmm. from within the country, mm-hmm. let's say Deben or what, what, to come here in Johannesburg. Mm-hmm. Others from neighboring countries, mm-hmm. uh, like uh, Zimbabwe, mm-hmm. uh, Uganda, Mozambique, yeah. and uh, Malawi, mm, Uganda, mm, mm. we all come here mm. in Johannesburg because mm. people hear about Johannesburg. Yes, you yes, know? yes, yes. Yeah. City, you can make it, city mm. of God, what, mm. what, you know. So you think to come here, it's easy. Mm, mm. And as I told you, like to myself, mm. I came here like a, having a number or someone I can call. Mm, mm. You reach here, no Nothing. phone. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So you need to do that. So come to the women. Mm. Mo- also women, they are like us guys. Mm. They do come. So mm. me as a person raised up with a single mom, I've been with my sisters and coming here, welcomed with the ladies and I've been with too much ladies, sharing. Mm. So it's the same story. So mm. I came to say that uh, women, it is true. If you walk around Johannesburg, you will see there's a lot of people coming there, women coming there, thinking that they're going to do, make it in in the streets of Johannesburg. Mm, mm, mm. But it's where they become vulnerable mm. to the society, mm. whereby they take advantage. Mm. You come knowing I have someone there, by the end of the day, that person cannot. Mm. Then they end up uh, sleeping with unwanted mm. guys, mm. you understand, getting mm. pregnancy. There's mm. a lot of stories. Mm. So if you can hear such stories, mm. they are really so touching. Mm. They are really mm. so touching, mm. you understand. Mm. So when I started to do art, I said, no, uh, this is my field. Mm. I wanted to bring the stories that women go through mm. into their daily lives, mm. you understand, mm. Mm. be it negative or positive, mm. Mm. because there's a lot of challenges mm. that people do get. And as and some of them, they go unnoticed mm. because mm. Uh, some they fear to tell mm. or to say. So it's only they share with a small, mm. like, close friends. That this is what happened. But why do you think the society treats women like that, though? Uh, uh, I, I, think, uh, I think, like, a men, we see them as, we take them, because they are, like, at that time, vulnerable, nothing to do, mm. you know. You are there in that, st- st- uh, like, uh, in the society or community or in the city mm. or anywhere, you know. Mm, mm. But... Uh, nowhere to go, mm. nothing to eat. Mm. You need a lot of things mm. to take care about yourself. Then I'll take it as an advantage. Mm. You understand? Mm. Because you are like a desperate. We mm. know when you are desperate. So the, a You're person most can, likely to do what, whatever yes. I want. Yes. Yeah. So I yeah. can do whatever I want. You know, mm. then without you resisting, yes, because also yeah. you need help. Yes, and there yeah. are others who don't have any knowledge that maybe I can do this or I can go to police station or mm. end up yeah. like me the way how I went to go mm. to the hostel which mm. was cheaper. Mm. So they'll end up 
going in being in the hands of wrong yeah. people yeah. so that they take advantage about that mm, yeah yes. Th- that's very interesting right and and back home obviously to your point the way you, you talk about forced marriage you f- you talk about it being an issue and still being a reality mm. so with someone who 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 pains such deep pain of women that you've lived with and you've seen it how do you how do you take care of your mind how do you make sure that you you not you don't go I don't know that you don't go into deep depression or you are depressed and you're still able to do the work and communicate through art the pain that you see. You know when you are painting like me, mm. uh, when I'm painting such stories, mm-hmm. it's best to true stories. Mm. So it's uh, really as you are saying, it can give you you can be depressed mm-hmm. about it when you think too much mm. those challenges. Mm. But to me, when I'm painting, I try like to focus mm. not only to that that negative part, mm-hmm. side, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. also to the positive side. And what would be positive, for example? What would be positive about that story at that time? At that time, mm-hmm. because. Such challenges, mm-hmm. I've seen some people who have gone through that. Mm. By the end of the day, mm. they make it up. Oh, yes. Okay, so well, you're also celebrating that life. Exactly. Yes, yeah. So my work also is about that. But mm. at the end of the day, I, I see the positive. Mm. You understand that mm. not only the challenges that they go through that they will stop there. Mm. No, there's also people who have gone through those challenges, mm. but still they have contributed a lot into the community, okay. into our society. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Because end of the day, there you go. It's not good to go mm. through that such challenges. Mm. But end of the day, it's not like uh, the end mm. of the world that mm. now I'm to like this or you never come up. No, mm. we have all gone through that. Mm. But uh, that's not the end that in, I can uh, hang myself for that. You know, mm. if you persist into mm. that, mm. then you can end up. So I look into that negative side, but mm. still there is that positive side, okay. which I mm. give credit mm. uh, to to some who have mm. gone through that. Mm. Do you think God lives in in all of us, including the ones who abuse, the one who cause pain? Do you think he or she or it is in through all of that? I think yes. Even in the in the in the abuser's life, yes, is it? Yeah, because. Mm. Uh, like what I learned from a young age, mm. uh, that uh, God loves us mm. all, mm. be it you're a sinner mm. or you're not a sinner. Okay. So whoever is a sinner mm. or you are not, uh, we leave that to God. He's the mm. one who created us. Mm. He's the one who can judge mm. us when mm. we go on there. Mm. But in that state, yes, mm. I think is God some, exists yeah. in everyone. Do you, so five years from now, mm. where do you see your work? Where do we where do we read about Patrick five years from now? Where do we see your work? Uh, five years from now, I'll mm. be international because mm. already it's where I'm focusing. Yes, it's where I'm going, mm. and it's uh, the target of mm. my work. Where where it's gonna mm. go? You understand? Because mm. already I've started to receive calls, mm. started to receive uh, con- community uh, contact mm. Uh, mm. with the galleries which mm. want to present my work, mm. which want mm. to work with me. Mm. So in five years, yeah, I think I'll be international mm. and not in more uh, locally or Af- mm. African artist. So do, do you go home? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Yes, I do. When when last did you go home? Uh, I last went there in 2019. Yes. And uh, and how was how was the mood when you got there? Uh, unfortunately, I could not spend time there. Yes. I went uh, as, as uh, I told you in the beginning mm-hmm. that my friend was an artist. Mm-hmm. He died unfortunately mm. in 2019 so yeah i took him home to rest oh wow so you had to follow the uh, take him all the way here and, uh, yeah. and lay him uh, may yeah. his soul rest in so peace, I, yeah. I i could not like spend much time there but i was there something like two weeks mm. yeah mm. yeah mm. but uh, yeah things they have changed you know mm. Mm. yeah mm. how's your family are they proud of you are they do they have your artwork in the in the living room at home when you come through? <laughs> Does your mom say, "Listen, my boy did this"? Uh, my mom, she is proud. Yes, about yes. to me. Yeah. Uh, even though she don't follow me on social media. Yes. Yeah. But uh, my sisters, they do follow me. Nice. And uh, yeah, they are always uh, like yeah. uh, updating her about okay. what's going on in my life, and yeah. she's super proud. Yeah. About to me. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. When when do you plan to go home where it's 
it's not somber, it's celebratory and, and you know, what do you want to do? Are you going to have a big party or are you just going to have mommy's cook food? <laughs> <laughs> and I miss it, you know. Yes. But uh, hopefully by this year. By You'll this be place. able to. Yeah. 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 So last question from me, uh, Patrick. Why didn't you become the man that you were seeing, right? You were raised by a single mother. Obviously, your father was absent. Um, women around you being abused, um, some of them being forced into into marriages. You come here on the street of Joba, you also see men who take advantage of women, the women's av- um, vulnerability. Why didn't you become that man? Because that's what you've seen around you. Oh, for me, I think it's uh, because the way how else I grew up, mm-hmm. like uh, my mom, she mm. used to, to put me down, nail down, mm. Each and every day, Mm. playing, Mm. playing God. Mm. Each Mm. and every day, since when we were young, Mm. or like Mm. since when I'm starting to understand. Mm. So we used to play God. Mm. That uh, we used to pray God. You pray God to give us, uh, to forgive us our trespasses. Talk Mm. about uh, good and bad. Mm. So Mm. she was telling me each and everything. Mm. You never do this. Never Mm. do this. So all that Mm. kept me in mind as I'm growing up. So you knew better and you had to do better. Uh, Yes, exactly. And thank you, Mami. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, you know, we we wish you well here at the Imperative Magazine and we, we... when you do go international on your journey from mm. here five 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 years on, um, we we hope you do come back to our studio and we still talk to you. I do personally want to come home with you when you go home. Yeah. Um, capture that moment and, and just, you know, I think it's just a blessing for your mom to sit with you on the table and see you as a different person and the success that you are today. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So... Last parting shot for you, right? Mm-hmm. If someone is in the space that you were when you left home and arrived in South Africa, mm-hmm. what would you say to them? Whoever, like mm-hmm. uh, in that state, mm-hmm. just to persist. Mm-hmm. You know, life is not easy, mm-hmm. but we have to know end of the day, mm-hmm. there's challenges. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, those challenges, they come and go. Mm-hmm. So if you insist Mm. If you know what you want, mm. exactly, mm. Uh, focus on to that. Focus on what you want. No matter yeah. the challenges you are going through, mm. no matter the difficulties, mm. you have to know what you want. Mm. So the difficulties, challenges will come and mm-hmm. will go. Yes. Oh, and but, the, they come and they'll go. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Uh, so long as you are focused, mm-hmm. if you lose your focus, then that's the end of you. Mm. But if you still fo- uh, f- focus, you keep mm. on the focus, you keep on going and pushing, thinking hard and uh, trying to look for the opportunities, automatically the mm. opportunities will come and go. It will come and you will not come. finish them. You can't finish them, you right? Can't finish there's, them. Too ma- there's too many in there. Because yes. we come from an infinite source. Yeah. Patrick, I can sit here and talk to you the whole day because mm. um, you are just a teacher. You're someone who's been... You know, it, it, there's a there's nothing like a, a, a rich teacher who's been in the classroom who wrote that exam and then now come into you and discuss the exam. And like, you know, that that for me is the is, is the best teacher in the world. And we thank you for joining us on the Imperative Podcast. Yeah. And we wish you well. Yeah. And maybe uh, before I conclude, mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. forgot to tell you. Yes. I have like shows which yes. is coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have two man show which is coming in something there. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I'll update you about that. Yes, please. I'll do you have, have the date? You. Uh, I'll confirm the date. Yes, but, but how uh, do we follow you so that we we know where, where how to catch you? I'm what's on, your t- yeah. I'm on social media. Okay. I'm on Instagram, okay. Facebook, Twitter. Mm. And what's your, your 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 what are your handles? Uh, and my handles like on uh, Facebook, mm. I use Patrick mm-hmm. Selu S E R U W W. Then on Instagram, again Patrick Selu zero mm-hmm. four. Uh, Zero four. Okay. Yeah. So if you Google uh, mm. even my name, mm. yeah, still you can see. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> you are Googleable. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's like that. I mm. have solo show coming up. I have mm. two money show also coming up. Wow. So the yeah, yeah, it's busy and yes. yeah, I'm keeping on working and yes. focusing. Okay. Thank yes. you so much and keep on focusing. Um, yeah. we trust that. You know, as the calendars align, we will be able to be at one of your show. It will be absolute pleasure. 
Um, and we love your work, so keep on doing the great work that you're doing. Yeah, thank you so much, yeah. Tim. Yeah. There, there you have it. Um, this is Patrick Sirua. Um, he is an artist and he focuses on, I think, community art, right? And focusing on the um, elevating the stories of women through his work and absolutely lovely, um, especially someone who comes self-taught and who comes from the streets that he comes from. Patrick, we wish you well and more light upon you, my brother. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to another production from Solid Gold Podcasts.